Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we're bringing you a really interesting video that I wanted to find a solution for a problem that I had. And that is from Sofa Baton and their Universal Roku Remote. So this is a sponsored video and plus they are doing a lightning deal later today. So make sure to check out as soon as you're watching this video to go check out in the link in the description because it is half off today. So let's get into it. So this is a universal Roku remote that basically has the Roku remote that you know and love and same kind of things that you use, volume rocker, all of that kind of stuff. But you also have all of the top buttons which replace your regular remote. Now this is really great for me because yes, on the newer Rokus you can turn power on and off and you can do the volume rocker, but you can't do everything including programming specific buttons from your remotes. So I found this to be a lot better, just that one remote that yes, you can use for your Roku, for all of your needs going between everything, but then up on a dime, you can switch to watching something on your smart TV or on your PlayStation. You can just switch everything from source to volume, to mute, to your smart hub, anything that your regular remote should be able to do, you should be able to have on here. So that's a really great benefit to have for a one remote that's a one-stop shop. Not only that, but you have two power buttons. So one is power button for the Roku and one is power button for the actual power. And I will say the pairing process can be very simplistic, but you do have to pair every single button. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at the directional buttons at the top here and the OK, each one of those has to be programmed. So it's a very simple process, but just a very one that you have to do every single button. So it's not just like if you pair the OK buttons, it'll work. You actually have to pair every single one. So the arrows up, down, left, right, all of that has to be paired. Now for me, I found the best pairing to be the A button to be my smart hub and the B button to be the back button. So I just always have everything I need on the remote and I haven't had to use remotes since. Now I will say this is a warning for smart remotes. These newer ones sometimes use Bluetooth instead of infrared. So that being said, it doesn't always work with the newer smart remote. So like I couldn't get this to learn from this, but luckily I have lots of different Samsung TVs in the house, which all work together seamlessly. So I was able to use this remote to teach this and now it works on this TV, if that makes any sense. So just know that that some of the newer remotes are gonna be a little bit tricky just for the fact that they use Bluetooth now instead of infrared on all of their devices. So, uh, but the infrared still receives it. So just know that, that the older remotes will seem to work a little bit better than the newer flashier ones. Or if you have a cable remote, it'll work just as well. Cause again, that uses infrared. Now to pair, it's pretty simple. You just hold down the power and mute button and you have the red dot come up and that is in learning mode. Then you push what button you want to learn. So if I hit this one, for instance, that is my source button, it is now blinking. And then you hit the button you want to learn from. So I want to learn from source. So I'll just hit source right here. And then it learned it. When it flashes green, it has now learned it. And then you can just hold down the power and this button again, and you're all set. Simple, quick, and easy. And I really like that about it. I really have enjoyed having one remote instead of multiple. It's just always better to have just one remote to rule them all. And I find this to be a lot better than the other way around, just because I find that the Samsung remote, the universal smart one, doesn't do as well of a job at Roku as just having all the Roku buttons. By the way, the Roku bottom buttons here also do work, so I like that as well. So it's a really great experience and just nice having one remote instead of having two different remotes. I can just move these aside and have one remote. Now I also wanna let you know about, they do have a Amazon Fire one as well, but this one is actually just an attachment. So you would still have your regular Amazon remote and it'll bring the secondary remote. So again, you still have one remote, it's just two different functions and the older remote just clips on here. So I wanna let you guys know that they also have one of those and the link will be in the description down below. But now on to the lightning deal. For six hours only, but I wanna let you guys know about that. I actually 
posted this video sooner than I was originally, just because I wanted to let you guys know that, hey, you can get this remote for only 16 bucks today, six hours only. Yes, I'm sorry if you missed it, but even at 30, it's honestly a really good deal just to be able to use one remote and it's just so much easier. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have other universal remotes that I should take a look at for maybe the smart home? I know the Logitech Harmony Hub is one that I also use for my day-to-day -day use, but let me know what your guys' favorites are in the comment section down below. And if you're gonna be buying a universal remote, which one are you gonna buy? Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.